white trim, the hangman George McManus and the dark brown touch of gloves and we are underway. Big left hand from Oban Elliott. Elliott loves that southpaw stance and he's getting the combinations going early here. Landing big shots on McManus, clinches up. Good hands from Elliott early. Forces McManus back against the fence, he's got those hands together. Got that S grip linked. Double underhooks, can he put this fight on the floor? Does he want to put this fight on the floor? Yeah, by the way he took that clinch, he started to move his opponent there. Definitely looks like he wants to get this fight to the ground. I haven't seen a guy as fired up prior to right. the fight as <laughs> Oban Elliott in a very long time. Elliott competed at lightweight for a, for a long time, but... Nice. Guillotine attempt it. Oh, he's got to get past this guard. That's it, it's all about nice. the angle. Half guard position on top is an excellent position for crushing that guillotine attempt. He can allow him to keep the hand in there as long as you don't allow the hands to get connected and then the legs come back on the inside. So this is a strong position to be. And the thing is, when you give up one of those arms, so in this case, the right arm, it, it stops you from being able to use that arm to frame and defend. So McManus doing a good job of getting back to open guard position and open Elliott allowing him back to the feet. Yeah, Elliot got a little taste of that uh, that guillotine there and was forced to scramble out of it. Nice low kick on the break, though. Two big low kicks. That second one really buckled the leg of McManus. And Elliot finding a home for that left hand now. I think Elliot's learned something from the Ian Gary fight and he's trying to disable that, that lead leg and slow McManus down. Nice short hook on the break. Nice knee from McManus. Yeah, Elliot is the shorter man. It's going to be very wary of those knees on the inside. McManus looking strong. Elliot tried to pull that arm out there. Two or three tugs trying to get that arm out and just didn't seem to be able to move his opponent's uh, wizard position at all. This guys are certainly <laughs> living up to spinning so far. You kind of set a precedent for the rest of the 15 minutes now. <laughs> Both like guys landing short shots in that. Oh! That was a big shot! And a big knee! Elliot slips though, and he's going to be wary of the neck to go here. Yeah, what a shame there, as he threw the knee, slipping onto his back in a really strong position to attack. But Manus looking to tie up that head, and Elliot doing a great job of getting his head out of that. You're going to see an elbow on the break here from Oban Elliot, I think. Nice short range knee, there's the elbow. Nice left hook there. Shots are landing for Oban. Oh! He's down! What a knockout for Oban! Comeback. Wow! Lands a clean shot, he gets tangled up for a moment, but then he's able to work free of the clinch and lands a beautiful two three piece combination on the inside. Knocks his opponents out cold, and as we'll see in the replay, McManus was stiff as he was falling to the canvas. What a beautiful knockout! Nice show of respect there from Arman Elliott, talking to his opponent's former man, his father. And a standing ovation for both these young men. And for that finish from Oban Elliott. I cannot wait for the truck to pull that one up, ladies and gentlemen. I get a feeling it's one you're going to see more than once on the Cage Warriors highlight reel. And Oban Elliott. In conversation with our broadcast colleague Dan Hardy there. Let's take a look at this finish. Dan, talk us through the action here. Look at this punchy combination on the inside. Lands the right. It was the right hand that did it. And as McManus was falling, he took one more uppercut. What a beautiful punchy combination. A ferocious unloading of punches from Urban Elliott. Rockets for fists. Absolutely beautiful. Well, it's true what they say. 
Never trust a gangster, especially not one with the power in his fist. So, oh, Van Elliot, let's throw it to our MC in the cage, Mr. Hal Chaplin, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Rich Mitchell, calls a stop to this contest after two minutes and 47 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by way of knockout in the blue corner, the Ras Gangster. Oh, man, Elliot.